In this video, I'm going to show you this handwritten inspired text write on effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects, we first want to begin by creating a brand new title. So we've got a composition created. We'll go up into T. So this is on the top bar of After Effects. Select anywhere in this black video and we'll just type out your word of choice. Now I must warn you that the longer the word is that you choose here, the longer the effect is going to be later. So if you have a really long word or a sentence, it's gonna take you a lot longer than if you had a really short single word. So with that in mind, I'm going to start with a really short word. So I'm just going to do films, F-I-L-M-S. It's a five character word. Then I'm just going to go over to the right to go into the character window. And if you can't see the character window for any reason, then you just want to go up into window and make sure character is selected or ticked here. If it's not, then just turn it on. Now in this window here, you want to change your font and you want to try and find a handwritten inspired font. It doesn't actually matter what font you use here. You just want to make sure that it looks handwritten because that's really going to sell the effect. So once you've found a font of your choice, you now want to go ahead and increase the scale. You can add some weight to this if you want, or you can keep this quite thin. It's completely up to you. But once you're happy with the look of that, we're just going to position this in the middle using the proportional grid as a reference. There we go. And now from here, we'll go into effects and presets. And again, if you can't see effects and presets, we'll just go up into window and make sure effects and presets is turned on. So in effects and presets, we're going to search for the write on plugin, and that should be under generate. So that is write on. We'll drag that onto our text. And now this is where we can go ahead and create the write on effect. So before we do this effect, you first want to roughly figure out your route because once you've started and committed to one route, you have to delete it all if you want to change the route. So I'm going to start here. We'll go from the left to the right, back down, up. We'll cross here. We'll do the I, then the L, then we'll follow the M, and then follow the S to finish. So making sure your cursor is at the very beginning, you go to brush position, use this target here to position the bottom left. So now that you have adjusted the brush position to be sitting at the bottom of the first letter, you now want to go ahead and create a brand new keyframe on brush position at the very beginning. And then we're also going to go to paint style, reveal original image. There we go. So all of a sudden it has disappeared. So what I'm going to do as a reference is I'm just going to copy this. So command C, command V, copy that title and the title underneath will remove the effect. And I'll just press T on the keyboard to load opacity and we'll pull the opacity down to around 30% and I'll change the font color just so we know that is the reference text that we're seeing and not the actual text. So we're just going to lock that for now. So we'll press the padlock and we can go back up to films. This is our text layer that we're working on. So from here, I'm just going to go into brush size and we'll increase the brush size so that it fills this. Of course, as you can see, if we have it quite small, it's just a small white dot. But if you increase this all the way up to around 17, you can see it completely fills that letter. So with that in mind, we're just going to move over one frame to the right and we're just going to pull that up. And as you can see, that's filling in. It's following that letter. Then we'll move over to the right one more frame and we'll push this up even more. Move to the right one more frame. We'll pull this up again. Move to the right. And basically what we're doing here is we're just going to keep following this letter and we're just slowly revealing this word frame by frame. Now, as I said earlier, this is a very slow and tedious process. So if you've got a full sentence that you want to write out, it is going to take you quite some time to do so. So if you've just got a smaller word or you've got a single letter, then of course that is really going to help you out because you're not going to be spending about two years doing this effect. But what you want to do is you just want to slowly work through frame by frame, just making sure that you're very carefully filling in this word. And there you go. Once you have successfully filled in all of those letters, we can just zoom back out. We'll pull this back to the very beginning and we'll just play back. And there you go. You can see we've got this really nice write on effect happening in After Effects. 
Of course, though, we can now delete the under layer. So we can delete that red layer. So we'll unlock that. We'll delete that red layer of text. So that is now creating this right on reveal effect. And that looks really nice. Of course, though, if it doesn't look quite right for any reason, as you can see, I didn't do a great job up here. You can see sort of the brush marks here. So if you've got any moments like that where you just need to clean them up a little bit, all you have to do is just increase the brush size just a small amount and that should cover you. Just be careful though that you don't do it too much because if you do it too much, then it's going to start to affect the rest of the animation. So just do it to the point where it covers up any imperfections. And there we go. If we play this back, you'll see we've got this really awesome right on effect in Adobe After Effects. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support and I will see you on the next video. See you there.